Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is part three of this video. I still don't understand why the gentleman wants to make a single line font, but I found an old video, and then the website kind of moved, so I'll set a link at the bottom of this video to pick a font. It's kind of gone long here, and that way you can find the vector, and all you have to do is download the font and it's a vector font, but there's a few tricks working with it in Corel. So I've got the font, or I've got, I just typed out from the alphabet, and I've installed the font, which I've had, I think, and I'm going to go right there. And now I have a vector line, single line font. It's still a font, so we can still go to text, fit text to path, and put it on our path. And there you go, you got a single line font. Now he mentioned that he wants he has to do a bunch and he needs to change the names and stuff, but you could do that with any font. But I will put a link to this. This is the only other reason I could see, and I had somebody years ago ask me, is they wanted to put a date or something or their name or a number on the back of a plaque and wanted to engrave it real fast. Well, if we go to object break the text apart, and if this was what you wanted to do, you could make this a hairline in a red. And instead of, and of course, you wouldn't want anything this long, but just a, maybe a number. Or, it, you could vector engrave this in two seconds. I mean, the, it would just, instead of going back and engraving it, it would just, learn, you know, at 100 speed, at whatever power you want to set at, it would probably cut all these letters but you do it you do it at 100 speed, but very less power, so it won't cut through your wood. It just marks your wood. So there'll be a link at the bottom of this video for this site to go get the font. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.